I'm Anders Harms, and I attended Compass Music Camp uh, for the years 2014 to 2019. I am now a senior at Battle High School. I am in a band on the Sweaters that I formed with two other people that attended Compass Music Camp as well. I'm uh, planning on studying music at Mizzou when I go to college. Hi, my name is Lucy Goldberg, and I've been attending Compass for nine, ten years. I plan to finish out this year and go to school for music, maybe specifically music production. My name is Sid Hemwall. I attended Compass Music Camp uh, 2012 through 2015. I just became a fully certified sound therapist. Hi, my name is Brady Rosa Stingle. I attended Compass Music Camp from 2013 to 2018, and I also taught there in 2019. I was the recording engineer. Uh, I'm, I live in Columbia, right behind me is my studio. I go by Braden Rose online. Um, I basically just produce beats, hip hop beats. I plan on going to Conservatory of Recording Arts and Sciences, which is in Phoenix, Arizona. I'll probably move out there in a year or two. Hi, my name is Kaylin Buck. I was at Compass Music Camp in 2012. I'm currently um, in downtown Los Angeles, California, finishing my last semester in college as a commercial music manager with an emphasis in vocal performance. Hi, my name is Abby Witt and I played keyboard and sang at Compass Music Camp for three years as a camper. I'm at Mizzou now as a freshman and studying business with a minor in music with the goal to eventually start my own live music venue. Hey, what's up? This is Carver LaBarbera. I attended the camp for two years, 2018, 2019, and to me, the biggest impact of the camp is that it taught me a whole lot of things about music that I didn't know about. How to perform live in front of an audience, music theory, and uh, how to publish your music, how to get your merch out there. And if it hadn't been for the amazing tips from the counselors, I don't know what I'd be doing with my music right now. Compass Music Camp has prepared me so much for the real world as a musician because it offers everything you could think of. Sound production classes, music theory classes, you get put up in a band and you're able to make music together and it shows you kind of like a little insider look of what it actually is if you wanted to really um, have a career in the music world. It showed me that all these people have different perspectives what can they bring what can they uh what type of uniqueness can they bring to their own music and to to their band's music uh etc and compass really kind of brought it to the forefront of it being about us rather than just me learning how to play with other people and put myself towards the the whole ensemble or group really learned from that they created an atmosphere that i will never forget and cherish always. If I had to describe Compass in five words, it'd be the closest family you'll have. The people there are just so eager to watch you learn and grow. I have never felt more like encouraged and loved by all these people who just want to watch you make music and grow as a person. It's really like a second home to me. Five words to describe Compass, I would just say learn to be the music. Um, I remember my first couple of years, the first few years at Compass, we would be going around downtown Columbia to the art gallery, or I remember my band uh, would rehearse when they were remodeling Rose Music Hall. We would rehearse in there with all this construction work going on. The Compass Music Center would be the most beneficial thing for Compass in general. Um, you can bring in any level of recording engineers and instructors, you can bring in the best people in the world, but it all really can't be done without a creative space to teach kids and to, for all that learning experience to happen. I think the center would be beneficial for a lot of people like me. I could see myself utilizing it for rehearsals, attending lessons, maybe even teaching and making a job out of it. So I think the center is a great idea and I'm here to support it.